Hi, my name is Keith Smith. I'm a freelance PHP programmer, and I've been a freelance PHP programmer since 2006, and I'd like to teach you everything I know. In this video, I would like to cover how to set up Apache 2 virtual host and Ubuntu 24.04 long-term support. So uh, the, you notice I have everything set up. On the left-hand side, I have some notes. On the right-hand side, I have a, a PuTTY set up and it's connected to the server. So the first thing we need to do, now we're creating a virtual host with Apache 2 on Ubuntu 24.04 long-term support. So uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to type in sudo make dir mkdir, that's a Linux command, and then a space and a hyphen p, which is tells it to create any parent directories that aren't there. So I give it the full path, and I, and I want to create this under var forward slash www slash vhost dot internal and I'll explain that a little bit later. That's a a, a local domain. It's not routable, uh, so I can use it on my local network and and you'll see how cool this is. And forward slash public HTML. That will be the root of the website we're setting up right now, which is vhost dot internal. So I hit enter. It's going to ask me for my password. Let me enter my password. Okay, so it took that command. Let's move on to the next one. And so we want to change directories into that uh, directory. So let me cut and paste that. Okay, cd is a Linux command forward slash var forward slash www forward slash vhost.internal forward slash public underscore HTML is a, a path to a directory. So if I hit enter, now we're in that directory. You can see that it shows that we're in that directory. Uh, let me hit enter a couple times. You can, it, it actually shows you we're in that, that directory. So, um, so I am gonna create a file in there because we'll, we'll need to be able to verify that this is actually working, so. So I'm going to I'm going to put in the command sudo which makes me the the super user by which is uh, an editor it's my editor of choice and then the file is index.php it doesn't exist so we're going to create it this way hit enter boom now we're in the editor by I hit i for insert put it in insert mode and then um we're going to add this little piece of code right here, and I'll explain it in a second. Okay, so what this is is uh, the the bracket question mark PHP tells Apache that we're going to run some PHP code. Echo is a, a PHP command, and then in single parentheses I have vhost.internal. And then I have a, a semicolon, and then I have a question mark and another bracket. That tells Apache that we're exiting PHP mode, and now they're going to be in HTML mode. Uh, so all I do is hit Escape to get out of Insert mode, and then I hit a uh, I enter a colon. Look at the lower left-hand corner, and I put in a W for write and a Q for quit, and I hit Enter. Okay, we've done that, so that's all good. Now we're going to do something here that I'm not really going to cover too much right now. It's something we're going to cover in, in the future. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut and paste this command and I'll explain what it is. sudo chown, which is uh, sudo makes me the, the, the super user. And then chown, uh, it, it sets up the ownership. And so we're going to give the ownership to root and uh, the root user and the root category or, or group I should say and then uh, index.php which is the file so I hit enter and it does that and then I want to change the uh, the permissions that I'll get into more later 
So it's sudo super user chmod is a Linux command. 755 is the permission level. And I'll explain that in a future uh, video. And so we're going to apply that to index.php. And we hit enter. And it, and it takes care of that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the virtual host file. So let me get this going. Okay, so what it says is sudo by forward slash etc forward slash apache2 forward slash sites hyphen available forward slash vhost.internal.config. Now the file we're, we're creating is vhost.internal. Remember that was the uh, domain name, noun rotable domain name, and then we're adding the dot config for it. So what this file does is this is the file that Apache reads and knows how to set up your virtual host. And to insert, and then we're going to copy this, and I'll explain what it is uh, in a minute, in a second or two. Okay, so I'm going to copy it in there. Okay, so I'm going to hit escape because I don't want to be in insert mode anymore. So we're, we're basically telling Apache that this is a virtual host. It's uh, listening on port 80. And then the next line is the, these are Apache commands. So server admin, we, we give it a, uh, in this case, it's webmaster at vhost.internal, which is uh, an email address so that uh, the, the server can talk to you if it wants to or if it needs to. Uh, server name, that would be the name of our, our, our domain. So it's vhost.internal. Then the alias is how you get your www. So uh, if we're going to use www.vhost.internal, then this configuration will know how to handle it. www is a subdomain. So you can have shop there or any other thing that you need. And that would, that would cause the, the Apache to route the request to that uh, host. Uh, so document root, this tells us where the website's going to reside on the server. So in this case, it's forward slash var, forward slash www, forward slash vhost.internal, forward slash public HTML. That's where our website's going to reside, and that's the root of our website. Okay, so we have an air log. We have a variable that starts with a dollar sign as a open parentheses, and it's Apache underscore log underscore dear, uh, close parentheses forward slash the name of the file. In this case, I, I named it vhost.internal.error.log. Now you see a little bit of a pattern here. I use the domain name, and that's so if we have multiple uh, hosts, then uh, virtual hosts, then we're going to uh, want to make sure that we can distinguish one log file from another. Now, the custom log is the same thing. It's got that a variable forward slash vhost.internal.access.log. And we'll, we'll see that in practice here in a minute. So what I do is I put in a colon. And then I add write. The W for right and Q for quit, and I hit enter. Now we're going to give it a couple more commands, and then we're going to test it. Okay. So what we're going to do now is this command, sudo, which makes me the super user. It's A2N site, which means uh, enable the site so that Apache can use this, all this information and give you a website. So we're making it vhost.com internal that's the name of our website right that's our domain so i hit enter okay it gives me a message saying i need to reload the configuration so let's copy that command over okay it says it's so it's sudo super user system control reload apache boom there we go okay okay so now i want to set a notepad as admin and I'm going to do this so that we can use that noun routable domain name within our local network. Okay, so now we're going to open notepad as administrator 
and it's going to ask us if we want to do this and say yes okay so now i have to open up a file so i'm going to say open then it's going to give me this windows we go to windows right and then we click on that and then we go to system 32 let's find system 32 okay there's system 32 right there click it and then we're going to go to drivers let's find drivers this is an alphabetical order and we go drivers okay and then etc okay and now you don't see anything well there's a file in there we want to get to so what we have to do is we have to say we want all files okay so now we're going to go to the host file linux has a host file as well and i'll get to that in a minute okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down here and i'm going to add another line so i'm going to hit tab and i'm 192.168.1.81 is our server hit another tab and then what is it vhost dot internal okay is that right okay vhost dot internal okay and now we're going to save this and we're going to exit out of here file save and then we're going to close this because we don't need it anymore okay so now let's go back to our list and okay so we modified it we went to the right path. Now we're going to add, we added the V host to the Windows host file. And now we're going to test it. So let's open up a browser. Okay. And I'm going to type in V host dot internal. Let me make sure I had that right internal. Behost. Let's see what happens. Boom. Hit enter. Hey, it worked. Hey, all right. Okay. So we're going to do one more thing. Let's get this, all this stuff back uh, showing. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to uh, the locks. Okay. So I'll explain this command in a second. Okay. CD is a Linux command and we're going to go, uh, forward slash var, forward slash logs, forward, forward slash Apache 2, which is a path. And I'm going to say enter, and it takes us there. Let's see what's in there. Okay, we have um, the two files right here that I, cr I created, okay? So vhost.internal.access log. And vhost.internal.error.log. Now we can look at those. Let's uh, let's just use a cat. Cats uh, prints out what's in the file. So we're going to say vhost. I'm going to hit a tab. Okay. It takes me up to internal. And then let's say error. Let's look at the error log first. Okay. Done. Bam. Okay nothing in there so let's do this again the tab okay you notice i up arrow keyed so i could get the history and we're going to cat vhost.internal. what are we going here we're going to access i put in type in acc and then i can hit the tab key will automatically uh fill it in so uh i hit enter that's the one time we access the server and it'll give us all this information right here. So it says we, we accessed it from 192.168.1.70, which is the Windows box. It's not the virtualized server. Uh, and then because we went from Windows browser to the server. Uh, and so this is the information it gives us back. It says we use Mozilla 5.0 Windows NT 
10, which it's Windows 10, 64-bit, uh, and uh, so, yeah, so that gives us a lot of information. Okay, so uh, I want to show you one last thing. Now, I'll show you how to edit the Linux host file. So all we do is uh, buy, which is the editor, and then we're going to add the directory which is forward slash etc forward slash hosts. And then we hit enter. Okay, you can see that this is already set up. Okay, if you're like me, my desktop is running Linux. So I could go on my desktop and, and you'll have to do this with every computer. So, and I could put in there the route for the domain, which is vhost.internal, and then from my desktop, I'd be able to see the website that's on uh, th this virtual host. So, uh, yeah, we've had success. Yay! Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new content. If you found this content useful, by all means, give it a thumbs up. I'd like to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment and subscribe to my newsletter. Below you will find a link and you'll wanna subscribe because there's some information I'm gonna let out that probably will not make it in, into the videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day.